Tiffany. And <laughs> we are back with our Red Pop Pop. Uh, it's been sitting here for a couple of days. Finally got around to filming it. So we will have a look at what we've got inside. We have bubble stuff. Mm. Interesting. Okay. First up, we have a microwave popcorn in sea salt. I'm sure Ebony will uh, enjoy that because she really likes popcorn. I really like popcorn too, but I don't eat it. I like sea salt popcorn. Um, I think there's only one in there, but cool. Uh, next, oops, we have from the Vaza. This is um, coffee. Premium instant coffee. Apparently there's supposed to be 52 cups of coffee. I'm thinking that's what that thing down here says. I think it says 52. I'm assuming that's what that means. Um, yeah, I like coffee. I don't It'll like get coffee. used. I don't like coffee because yeah. I've never drank it before. Yeah, we're too, too little for coffee. Um, we have from... Um, uh, I don't know what the company is, but it's a chia pod. Chia pod. This one's apple spice. I've actually had this before. These are really, really nice. Um, yeah, I eat these on a regular basis, so they're really good. And they're kind of pricey. They're like um, four or five dollars each, so they're not like cheap. Really. And we have from Campbell's. Which used to be an Australian company, but really isn't anymore. Um, even though they've still got, like, stuff in Australia. I'm pretty sure they sold out. Uh, this is the real soup base for Moroccan soup. Vegetable stock infused with cumin, paprika, cinnamon, turmeric, and coriander. And there's a recipe on the back for Moroccan pumpkin soup. Um, yeah. I would want to leave out the potato thing, but other than that, so that's interesting. And another soupy thing, oh, somebody's going to enjoy this, um, Campbell's, again, their Angus beef vegetables and red wine soup. Um, sounds really good. I won't be eating it, but I'm sure somebody will eat it. Um, I just saw a 16-year-old pop his head around the corner like, Ooh, soup! <laughs> um, oh, okay. From the Chia Company, we have some uh, Chia. It's like a salad booster. You add it to your salad. It has Chia seeds, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, flaxseed, crumble, and pepitas. That actually sounds pretty good. Not gonna lie, I pretty much would add that to my. Uh... And apparently, these chia seeds were grown in WA. For a second, I thought that said possum. Uh, no, that doesn't say possum. It says potassium. Um, the in Australia, we actually have a new thing that has to come on the packaging um, that tells you how much of the product in here or in the product um, how much of it was actually sourced in Australia like from Australian products so you can see on this little thing here it actually tells you 72% of the ingredients in here were made in Australia or grown in Australia so that is really cool. It's a new packaging thing in Australia. Um, so, yeah. sure. Oh, food. Okay, these are from Tasty. We've had these this brown before. These are the Mocha Macchiato Smushed Whole, whole Full Food Balls. Um, that's, that's my mum down in the background. Something clearly went down in the way. Um, these are really, really good if you are like me, like basically paleo, um, because they don't have any of the stuff that you're not supposed to be eating. They're basically made from dates, 
cashews, cocoa powder, coconut and coffee beans. So they're like really, really natural type things. I'm obviously going to eat them all because I haven't had enough. I haven't had lunch. Oh, there's some other things in here for eating as well, don't you worry. Yeah, I get um, junk. So this is what the balls look like. The fact that they are mocha um, macchiato tells me that these are going to taste like chocolate and coffee. Tastes like lemon and chocolate. No, it tastes like. Baby. It just tastes like chocolate, like dark chocolate, as opposed to like milk chocolate. It tastes like lemon and chocolate. Like I don't know how you're getting lemon. Mmm. <laughs> Those are really good. You just get a hint of the coffee at the back of your nose when you've after you've swallowed. And they mainly just taste like chocolate. Mm. I like those. Those are really, really good. Yum. Okay, so from the Cascade, um, Cascade is actually a brewery in Tasmania. It started around about the time that uh, convicts were still in Tasmania. Um, this is apparently raspberry, mint and ginger. Um, it's basically soda, but it's, yeah, interesting. But apparently now Cascade is owned by Coca-Cola Amatil. Looks good. Probably tastes like the colour pink because it is pink. Ooh. <laughs> oh. That reaction to it. Oh, that's really nice. It's a little adult, if you know what I mean. I think it's more of an adulty type flavour, but... Okay, this is mine now. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, right? It tastes good. Um, yeah. Thumbs up for that. That's actually... It's really, really nice. It's, um... 10 out of 10. Yeah, basically carbonated water with flavouring in it, but yeah, so um, totally would recommend the raspberry mint and ginger. Really, really good. Um, okay, so from Table of Plenty, we have the mini rice cakes with milk chocolate on them. Um, rice is gluten free, but unfortunately it's actually a grain, and I'm not eating grains, but a little taste test is, I think we've had these ones before, but, they look like Oreos, um, yeah, they look like half an Oreo, sort of, they're effectively just rice cakes, so, like, a mini rice cake with chocolate on the back of it, everything that's mini is adorable, so that is adorable, mm. So rice cakes are the most boring thing on the planet. They have like almost no flavour to them. And chocolate is like the most delicious thing on the planet. They use rice cakes to, they have rice cakes so you can have something and you can put something on it to give it flavour. Mm. Um, I think these, you're supposed to think that these are actually healthy because they're rice cakes, but they are chocolate on them. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. They're not terrible. And one of those bowls are rice cakes. Hmm. Um, the last food item is a packet of uh, craisins, dried cranberries. I still don't know why they call them craisins. However, no, um, <laughs> I put these in muffins and things all the time. And I've just started making some really good um, paleo muffins and 
quite a few of the recipes have cranberries in them because they're so good. So I'm actually going to open these ones because they're not like a snack pack or anything. Um, I'll just add them to the ones in my pantry. Why but didn't you, why didn't you make a recipe video while you cook your, uh, muffins? I suppose I could do that. Like, you used to. Hmm. Okay, so, um, we have from, um, Neutralis, which I found out is actually a local company, um, I didn't actually know this at first, but the actual post office box for this company is in the town that we live in, so it is actually a very local company, um, this is their essential pawpaw ointment, Pawpaw cream is great for lots and lots of things. This container, however, is only full to here. I know it's just a little sample, but it's literally, you can see straight through the packaging and it's like right there. Um, but yeah, so it's just a little sample of it, but pawpaw is great if you've got like um, burns and scratches and stuff like that. You put some of this on it and it's like really, really good for that kind of stuff. Plus, it is um, um, antibacterial, so it actually will like kill bugs and stuff like that. This particular brand is cruelty-free, um, Australian-made and owned and dermatologically tested. So, um, yeah, I haven't actually tried their one, but I'm sure it's like the the one that we have been using, which is called Lucas Purple. Which like is my like, yeah, which is really, really good. It turns Lucas into a medical thing. Um, the last, whoops, the last thing in the box is the magazine thing that they put in for everyone. And this weird thing. Um, which fell out of the magazine that's just choosy. Choosy is an insurance company. Nobody needs you, choosy. Um, so this is Better Homes and Gardens, which used to be a television program. I don't think it is anymore. It might still be. Um, so it has like recipes and home type stuff, but this one also has on the back of it a Better Homes and Gardens free knitting book with 44 different patterns in it. <laughs> and that was my mother saying that's hers, which I was going to give it to her anyway because I, I about, don't knit. I was about to say uh, that's, that's going to be great for Mama. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so there's like tops and jumpers and a hat and that looks weird. A scarf and oh, look at the bag. <laughs> bag rather interesting. Mom, look at that girl's shirt. She has. Yeah, it's got no shape to it. It's called a big roomy rib jumper, and basically it's like a ten. Not my fave. These are some weird clothing. Yeah. And she looks like she's the devil. <laughs> oh, look at that one. Oh, look at that kid. That's kind of like what I look like as a kid. And then I grow up. All the kids look creepy. Like they're staring into the songs. Oh, maybe they are. Oh, God, please no, don't. Maybe they are. I'm more only ten. Uh, yeah. So it's got like all the instructions and stuff like that in it. So that's cool. And apparently there is um, a chocolate muffin recipe, which I'm absolutely certain is not one that I can actually eat. <laughs> it also has stuff like gardening type stuff. But as with most of these type of magazines, about 50% of this magazine is actually advertising, which is kind of annoying. But there you go. So that is everything that is in our Lucas Pawpaw for... The, this Lucas Popo box. Oh, Lucas Popo. Red Popo. I got a Lucas Popo on the brain. Um, this is a bi monthly box. Costs $20 Australian. Um, that includes shipping regardless of where you live in Australia. Um, and you get way more than $20 worth of goods in the actual box. Um, so, yeah, that's. I mean, the magazine itself is nearly $7.50 for that particular magazine. Um, so, and the reason you get a magazine is because it is now, uh, Red Paw Paw is actually owned by the publishing company that sells those particular magazines and produces those particular magazines.
So that's that's why you get one of those in. Because everything is being owned by something that's smaller than them. Or bigger than them. It happens to be a very big company that actually owns them now. So, um, yeah, so that is everything for this particular unboxing. If you want to see more, then click the subscribe button down there. Leave us a thumbs up if you like unboxing type videos. And leave us a comment down below. We try to respond to all comments. And I will see you in my next video. And there this you. was time with me and mother. Oh. Adorable. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> There you guys.